Hello, welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? And we are back with another review of a custom neighborhood. This time, uh, we are we going to review uh, the Sims One Old Town in the Sims Two. I'm very excited because this is the very first neighborhood that I played in the Sims One, and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, so let's get started to see how it looks like in the Sims Two. So here we are, the, our custom neighborhood from the Sims 1 to the Sims 2. From the looks of it, it does look pretty close to the Sims 1 version of it. Um, in this neighborhood, they come up with their own custom uh, wallpapers and also floor tiles maybe. Um, so I didn't download that, so it might have those blank walls that are supposed to be CC, but if you want to have the meet more closer to that style, you can download that part as well to your game. As you can see here, I still use the camera mod from uh, Sims 2 Sunset Valley. And so you, I can zoom out further than it should. So let's look at the more iconic houses. Let's start with the new camera house from Sims 1. So here we are, and what are these names? <laughs> it looks like it's some random generated names. But uh, I think the personality is quite on point, but I'm not so sure about the aspirations. Um, oh no, I don't think it's quite good, but they do look pretty close to the Sims 2, uh, Sims 1 uh, Sim version. As for the layout of the house, it is pretty similar to what The Sims 1 version It's pretty good, uh, not exact replica of The Sims 1, but it's definitely understandable Because the versions are different Up next, we're checking out the Goth family I think the same issue of the random names, I don't understand why they do that because the Sunset Valley version has no problems using the same names of Pleasant View version. And let's look at the house then. Okay, in terms of the Sims looks and appearance, it's definitely very close to the Sims 1 version. And also the house for the golfs are pretty accurate to me. I mean check out this living room here it is almost the exact same shot from the photo albums in the sims 2 if you remember the photo album in the golf family the furnishing and everything is exactly the same uh one gripe though but they do, didn't have the cemetery at the back they place it with a garden plot instead so and I don't quite understand they can use these wall shingles. I think this is from base game as part of the uh, wall pattern for the outside. So maybe I'm not a heavy user on custom content, so I'm more leading more towards using only what Maxis gave us with base game and expansion and stuff packs. So if you're downloading custom neighborhoods like this, uh, sometimes you need to download their custom content as well so I don't not really a fan of that but sometimes it has to be downloaded to make it work and here I use the ready-made uh, wallpaper to make the house look quite decent and close to the original version so let's look at the community lots this is one of the lots in uh, Old Town it's been a while I played the Sims 1 Old Town, I visited not although I don't quite remember the all the details. So maybe you can help out by pointing out the similarities and differences. From the looks of it, it looks quite good from the outside and also the insides are quite well furnished. I would say I won't say it was the exact form but it is pretty close to what I would imagine in the Sims 1. So we have the grocery store and also the pet store at the corner over there and they replaced, I don't know what it in the Sims 1, they replaced 
all a lot of the outdoor objects as swing sets, which is really funny. <laughs> but I appreciate the effort for making it more creative and functional. But I do notice there are objects that are like display items are facing at the wrong side. So you might need to readjust it when you are before you play this lot because it's going to have issues if you want to buy things from this shop. Next is the Gothic Quarter and I'm pretty surprised the creative use of the column arches which is quite cool because the original sims architecture is black I would I think and from the looks of it it is quite okay but uh, uh, things that I don't quite understand uh, at the back there I have to look it up what is that supposed to be it's actually the cemetery I'm uh okay I'm thinking that they should have just used uh, a cheat to build tombstone instead so because this looks a bit and there is a flight of stairs that connects to nowhere I that's quite right and hmm, I'm surprised there's no cafe that's supposed to have a cafe downstairs Lastly, I'm going to move in a pre-made, which is the Pleasant family, into the neighborhood to see how they look like. From the look of it, they look quite close to the Sims 1 uh, version, except the kids, the outfit doesn't look right, but it's okay. It's, I'm not going to harp on that. Again, with the random generated names, are you... Okay, if you're willing to ignore all the names and the labels and the personality, you can actually make it playable, uh, this neighborhood actually. And I'm quite surprised they actually made Jeff Dazen as the elder and then have no connection with the rest of the family, which is weird. Hmm. Okay, that is pretty much my review for this custom neighborhood of an old town from the sims 1 in the sims 2 generally i quite like the up look and style that they try to retain in the sims 2 but the little features like the names like the uh, certain items are missing and certain things that don't they are built especially the builds they don't really take a lot of care whether it's functional or it whether it makes sense or not um that's quite unfortunate but uh, overall, they made a really good job trying to replicate how one looks like. So I do think I can recommend if you can overlook the flaws in the in this neighborhood. But what do you think? Leave me a comment about this neighborhood and this review. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more Sims content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.